Yo, what is going on today, fam? So we are back working on the Duramax today, and today we're gonna to be cleaning our injectors. So to do that, there's a few things you're gonna need. You're gonna need this AC Delco top engine cleaner, part number 10-3015. You're gonna need about half a gallon of diesel fuel. Um, you're gonna need some of these deep uh, fuel line uh, tools to disconnect them two hose clamps and half inch and three eighth inch hose uh you want about three feet of it unfortunately i only have two feet of this but hopefully we can make it work but you want the inner diameter to be half inch and then the inner diameter to be three eighths so just uh make sure when you're buying your hose that you specify that so let's get into it so first thing actually first thing we're going to do the way i'm going to be doing mine is i'm going to be doing half diesel and half of this we're gonna let that chill like that now what we're gonna go to is we're gonna come in here so when you come in here what you're gonna be looking for is right behind this intercooler uh, elbow right here you have your two lines so what you're going to want to do there's a clip right you want to take a, a screwdriver you want to push this clip up and pull it out so i'll show you guys that all right so i got my gerber here just going to push up and then slide that out and then we can push that to the side cool so now this is where your uh your field hole removal tool is going to come in. So we're going to grab the 3 8 one off this bad boy right here. All right, cool. So by the way, everything I'm using in this video will be linked in the description. So got our 3 8 tool. What you're going to want to do, clip it on there, bring it back. And you might have to turn it around a little bit to get it to come loose. And then you just pull that out right there. So got that line out. So you're just gonna move these uh, fill lines out of the way like that. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the next one that's right underneath it, which is the half inch one. Um, keep in mind, if you have a lift pump, now would be the time to go underneath it. Hey, what's going on, sir? And then uh, go ahead and remove uh, your lift pump uh, fuse out so that isn't activated uh, when you go to start the truck. All right, y'all. So as you can see, this is the top one right here. The three inch, the bottom one is the half inch. These are your fill lines right here. Just tuck those out of the way. Uh, don't worry about it when you start the truck. There's no fuel that's gonna come out of these or whatever. Not a big deal there. So now this is where your hose is gonna come to play in your hose clamps. Now you're gonna put your half inch hose on first and then you're gonna hose clamp it and tighten it and then you're gonna put on your 3 8 hose. All right, y'all, so fuel lines are on and tight. Definitely wanna, definitely wanna make sure you have these fuel lines tight. Um, so the next step, which unfortunately I don't have a longer one because it would have made it a lot easier. But now is the time we're going to grab this piece of the puzzle, stick it right here. And now we are going to put our fuel lines inside of there. Ah, oh, this doesn't, damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> and this is why you need the three foot hose. <laughs> so I'm going to have to finagle this a little bit. Might have to even put this put this down like that but yeah so we're gonna get our fuel lines in there and then we're gonna go ahead and um and turn on the truck all right y'all so we got our fuel lines in they're good there so now what we need to do is come over to our our fuel filter has housing and we need to uh bleed out the excess air so all we're gonna do is crack this bleeder valve open right here and then we're gonna push this down to prime it and then we're good to start the truck so the bleed screw is a 13 or oh, you can use a flathead so I'm just gonna crack that open all 
get all the air out of there. Now we are good to start up the truck. All right, so as you can see, so truck is running, no fuel is coming out of the fuel lines and no fuel leaks uh, from the hoses we have installed. And so the truck is just running off of this uh, fuel mixture right here. So next thing to do is just let the truck just idle until it consumes all of this. I don't recommend uh, letting the truck idle all the way dry. It should take uh, between an hour, hour 32 hours. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, but you definitely just want to uh, check on the truck uh, periodically. So I'll see you guys uh, once this is done and then I'll report back with how she's running because right now there's a blue haze out the exhaust. It's a little smoky. So hopefully uh, this can help you clear that up. Well, uh, this has been probably a little under two hours. So we still got a good bit to go, but so far so good. A lot less smoke um, while just sitting here on idle. Uh, if I give it some gas, there's still some smoke, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was. So good there, but we'll check back um, after we're done all the way with the process and then, yeah. But so far so good. All right, y'all. So we're pretty much there. Uh, like I said before, I didn't want the truck to run out of fuel. So just go ahead and stop it early. So now we're just gonna go ahead and pull this out. We're gonna uh, disconnect our uh, fuel hoses and that we put on, and then we're gonna reconnect our factory fill hoses. Then once you do that, you are going to come back over here and reprime um, your fuel filter housing right there. And then go ahead and start it up. So I'm gonna knock that out right quick. And then uh, just final thoughts. All right, y'all, so all done. I just took the truck on a quick little drive around the corner. Everything uh, feels fine. Uh, still a little bit of smoky haze but not as bad as it was before. So that's a good thing there. Um, I just keep in mind that when you do this to your own truck, you also wanna do your fuel filter um, during this time also. It's not a bad idea to see foam uh, your truck too, things like that. So yeah, man, um, I'll have all this stuff linked in the description um, for you guys to buy, you know, if you don't feel like searching high and low for all the different stuff you need. But yeah, man, um, take it easy. I'm out. Yeah. Huh. Yeah.